in this video we're going to be installing a full presentation system here at Word of Life Outreach Ministry. Hey guys, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So in the last couple of videos, I've been talking about um, a simple install on how to do a uh, presentation system. I'm not necessarily a live streaming one, but the foundation that could turn into a live streaming system and I really wanted to just take y'all on a trip and a journey on actually seeing how this stuff goes. I'm here at Word of Life Outreach Ministry that they've reached out to us and pretty much it's a blank slate. The only thing that they have is like the typical media ministry where it's just sound and there's nothing else. But the pastor has a vision of what he wanted to be able to have scripture being shown, um, lyrics being shown to the congregation as well it wants to later down the road expand into a website then expand into live streaming so this is pretty much like i said a blank slate and i talked about in this previous video up here or whichever side it's on um, it'll be at the top um, of how to design the system and this is the church that i designed and showed you in that video how we're going to do that and then we talked about some different products which will also be up here um, the ori hdmi one by two extender splitter on how we can connect both of those displays and we built our um, typical presentation system which can always be upgraded to handle live streaming as well too just bumping up the memory um, and adding a capture card so that's what we're going to be installing today and i'm just waiting for the pastor to get here because on time is late we always get here early so we'll walk you through introduce yourself to the pastor hopefully um, if he wants to be on camera and we're just going to do an install and let you see how everything comes together All right, so guys, I'm here finishing up the install here and I want to introduce to the pastor of this church and his vision about the whole thing. Now, again, we focus on the fact that you don't need to have multiple millions to get this stuff done. Technology has changed to the fact that where anybody, whether you're a church of three people all the way to a church of 150,000, that you can actually do this because technology has leveled the playing field to where you can minister with somebody all the way on the other side of the planet with your phone. And that's kind of like what we purpose here. So I want to just introduce the pastor here and just ask him, because we've talked about in a previous video up here, the five concerns why churches don't live stream and don't get into technology and all this other stuff. But I just want to see from him, he's not scripted. I don't have nothing here so he can read, <laughs> but why he decided to go in this direction. Well, I decided to go in this direction because the church 
uh, in this era that's not like the era that I grew up in. You have to have all your modern day technology for people to come in because people, they like looking at things, uh, apps and uh, different technologies that uh, they thrive off of, especially the young generation. So I understood that if we're going to get the young generation and a lot of other people, not just the young generation, but everybody, you know, people in the modern day t technology now. So I, I figured that that would enhance and embellish the ministry. And so uh, my vision is that every seat be filled in here. And I know we're going to do it. We're going to achieve because there's nothing too hard for the Lord. So um, I'm looking forward to uh, going to YouTube and the different uh apps that you've told us about so that our ministry will grow and we'll be that one church uh, that God will bless us to uh, speak to 77,000 people a minute. <laughs> God bless right. you. Amen. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get back to finish doing this install. We got a little bit more things to do, so let's go ahead and get okay. to it. All right. Wow. All right, so everything is set up. I'm just going to test out Worship Extreme. Um, I need to probably set up their account in the future, so I'm just gonna s sign into a temporary account right now, so just to make sure that everything is working. All right, so let's go ahead and bring up my test queue like we normally do just to test out everything. And let's make sure that the other screen is being detected. All right, so the screen is fine, display number two. And it went black, so that's good. So let's go back here and bring up there we go. And based on the size, even for me, I would want to crank up the font for that. So let's go to songs and we want to go to our templates. And for full screen, we want to crank that up some more. So maybe 88. Let's just make it 90. All right, so if we go back here, that's a little bit better. And then let's go ahead and just change our background just to see if something comes up a little bit easier. I'm gonna download a couple of these. Let's go here and let's go back and change this. It's been downloaded here. So now, so we got motion there. Got our song. And we got our lyrics. Pretty nice. And what we're gonna do is let's make a cue and let's test out scripture just in case, because I do not believe our, um, do not believe the Bible, the new King James is not installed, but we'll change, change it to King James as the standard. So let's go back here and we're gonna make a new cue. And let's pick a background. Philippians 4 through 20. Let's go ahead and launch this. Alright, so that looks good, but for whatever reason, the font isn't coming out right. So let me just check that one thing. I mean, but all in all, everything is working good. Oh, because I had the wrong template. Alright. So we want to show our scripture. So let's try that again. All right, this is just something that you will want to play with, just depending on the length of the scripture and everything like that, on how much can and can't be done. So hopefully they'll be happy with all this. All right, guys, um, we're done here. So um, I want to thank first Word of Life Outreach Ministries for letting us um, install this trusting us to be able to install this for their church and the congregation with many more projects to come. And I hope this helps to show that what we put in place that we did in the last couple of videos, how it's actually in place now here in the sanctuary. So again, guys, I hope you like this type of content. If you do, appreciate a like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification. That way you get notified on any future videos. And don't forget, we still have the 500 subscriber giveaway going on to where you can actually your church or whoever could win one of these um, same system that we installed here that I have in this previous video on where we did the specs. Make sure you look out 
for the ultimate presentation PC build. That's the one where you need to leave your comments on. But you need to make sure you're a subscriber, you're on bell notifications, and you leave a comment, one comment on that video. So again, this is AJ. We will see you on the next video. Later.